Mrs. Busy is suddenly not busy. So I thought today I wanted to go record shopping. It's not even great where we're outside, but I just love walking around the city. And then at the end, if I actually buy anything, I can do a little mini haul, trekking around Melbourne, Australia with me and looking at all the beautiful records. Enjoy. I bought some stuff. Do you want to know what I bought? I bought some donuts. I'm a little, like, unhealthily obsessed with donuts right now. I went to four record stores. I bought three records. 
I'm gonna go through the records now, what I bought. Boniver, by Boniver. That's what this record is. The Boniver's second record. I already have Boniver's first record in my collection, so I thought it would be cute to also have the second one, create like a little family. I don't really listen to many songs of this record. Mostly I just listen to Holocene. That's like the big one from this record that everyone knows. I would like to listen to the rest of it because I actually appreciate old Boniver much more than I appreciate new Boniver. I like them when they're acoustic. Even though I love their debut the most, I am excited to listen to this record already in my collection. It was only $25 as well, which is very cheap for Australia, so I just thought, why not? I have recently put my records in alphabetical order according to artists, so I like to own multiple records from artists because then you got like a little bunch of that artist rather than just like random records. So, trying to make my collection feel like a collection here. Second record I got, I got for a very specific reason. I picked up this record because it is an album I really want to react to on my other channel, Kira's Reactor. And I really want to start doing reactions over there next year where I listen to the record. When I listen to it from my headphones, I'm listening to the record. It'd be cool, I reckon. And so I got this record. Deep Purple in Rock, right? This is from 1970, I believe, and it is like a hard rock record that I really need to listen to. It's like next on the list, pretty much like a must listen. It is a must own, it's like integral. If you had a Mount Rushmore of albums for hard rock, this would be on it, really. But they are Mount Rushmore here. The only song I've listened to so far is Child in Time, I believe, or at least that's the only song I remember. And I'm hoping to have this record show up on my other channel soon enough where I'm reacting to it. So yeah, I think this was second hand. This was $35 um, and it looks like it's in pretty good condition, so I'm pretty happy. And then I had another 40-ish dollars in the budget for today because I will usually want to spend, if I do go on like a bit of a record shopping spree, I want to spend around a hundred bucks within the day. I only do it about five to six times a year where I'll do this. I had another $40. I was like, mm, don't want to sort of splurge a little bit and get one record that's just around the $40 mark. Yeah, I sort of do. And I was looking for very specific records for that. Like if I want to spend a bit more, I want to get a record that I really want, that I've been searching for, that I've been really loving and listening to digitally. Digital, digitally. I decided that I wanted one of three records. I wanted JPEG Mafia's new record. I wanted this new record. I, like it's from the night. It's from 1972, and it's from Brazil. But I just randomly came across it online. Um, excuse the pronunciation, but it's something like Club de No Club da Esquina. Really popular, must-have Brazilian record that I <laughs> discovered yesterday. <laughs> and then the third record I wanted was the record that I ended up finding. I couldn't find these other two, so I got this one instead. And this is from the 2010s, I believe. It is a band that I've been falling in love with. I have a problem with this band. It is Idols. I love this band. I love this band right now. So I think these guys are post-punk, I believe. I feel like I'm really liking post-punk. I've mentioned it a couple times on the channel, I think, but I do just seem to gravitate towards post-punk, especially like 2010s. I'm like, loving it. This band came out with a record called Ultra Mono, I think a couple years ago, and that's where I first discovered them. Um, and I really love that, that record. I would love to own that, but I couldn't find it. But my second favorite album by them is their debut called Brutalism. And this came out, like I said, maybe around 2014. Oh no, 2017? This, this record came out in 2017. This is pretty recent, actually. The brought out four records within the last five years. So they're kicking it. And I'm loving pretty much everything they bring out. I mean, their new record, which is why I'm on a bit of an Idols trip right now, because they just brought out a new record called Crawler recently. I'm not a huge fan of Crawler. I think it's a bit more tame and boring than the rest of their releases. I still like it though. I still am obsessed with a couple songs, been listening to them religiously. I thought that I would start collecting them just because I just really like them. I really want to see them next year. They're coming to Melbourne and I really want to see them. Yeah, this record is 
loud, it's sort of punky, but post the punk, and it's just got a lot of like energy and personality, the lyrics are great, like the main singer is insane, I just love the way he, he talks, he's just like, <gasps> like him on the song Rachel Koo, I think it gets a little weird in that one, but apart from that, I'm loving it, I love the guitars, I love the songwriting, I love everything about it, I love everything about this band, I'm just really into this band, so yeah, this is the free records I got. Does anyone like anything I got? If not, what do you like? Um, I have like another several records that I've bought within the last three months that I haven't updated the channel with yet. So I will be doing another haul video, just like a proper haul video. So until then, I hope you have a nice fun day, fun times, and yeah, goodbye.